today we will discuss sp hybridization this type of hybridization takes place when carbon has to form bonds with only two atoms like this this carbon is forming forming bonds with h and c this c with this h and this c this is the ground state one electron is promoted from here to here in the excited state sp hybridization requires blending of only two orbitals 2s and one of these three 2p's so two new hybrid orbitals are formed one is this and another collinear with this one at a degree angle these two p orbitals stand perpendicularly on these two hybrid orbitals the unused p this is one say 2py and the other 2pz all these have one electron each one in this one in this and here this whole is p this whole is p now in the formation of bonds in acetylene for example we require two such sp hybridized carbon atoms so another carbon atom again sp hybridized having two sp orbitals with small cusps here p are vital and the p are vital this is sp sp overlap forming a sigma cc bond accommodating two electrons one from here and the from here these sp orbitals overlap with s orbitals of hydrogen forming sigma ch bond and a sigma ch bond once they are joined by a sigma bond sigma cc bond these two p parallel orbitals and these two p parallel orbitals standing like this 
these are like this so they overlap shown by this one pi orbital is formed this pi molecular orbital or pi bond while these two parallel pi orbitals overlap forming another pi these two pi orbitals are perpendicular perpendicular to each other and encompass this sigma electron pair all around so this is actually sigma cc plus 1 pi and another pi one sigma together with two pi orbitals is known as a triple bond of these three lines one represents sigma and these two pi total six electrons this bond length here is 1.20 angstrom units one angstrom unit is 10 to the power minus 8 cm and the sigma ch bond is 1.08 angstrom units these pi electrons being away from the nucleus are more available for reaction so sigma electron pair is the least reactive while pi are more reactive so we will see many reactions with double bonds and triple bonds while sigma bonds react less there was beryllium and beryllium chloride is formed we saw earlier beryllium has a configuration 1s2 2s2 2p x1 0 2p y 0 no electron in this and it appears that because there is no single electron in this unpaired electron it must be bivalent but actually it is not so it is it appears to be zero valent but actually it is not so it is actually bivalent because the available vacant p orbital receives one electron from this and you have 2s1 2px1 these are vacant here here again these two orbitals blend and forms by sp hybridization 1s and 1p contribution so this sp again and beryllium has two sp orbitals this reacts with chlorine by overlapping of p orbital of chlorine this was chlorine and here and the chlorine this is bcl bond a sigma bond bcl a sigma bond 
B is CL2. The other arbiters they are vacant. I am not showing them here. So this is actually bivalent. B E C L2. Collinear. Similarly, if you take BF3, boron trifluoride, it had one electron here, one electron here, this is promoted from S and this undergoes sp2 hybridization s and 2p forming this is 120 degree three f atoms with their p orbitals overlap with these three sp2 this is sp2 p overlap sp2 p overlap sp2 p overlap and we get bf3 molecule so this explains why boron is trivalent similarly we can form bcl3 etc